Hey everyone, I've got another long wear foundation for you guys. It seems like everybody has a new foundation out and they're all long wear. Everybody's got one out right now and this is the one from Bobbi Brown. I have a sample of this that I'm trying out. I got it from Nordstrom and the color I am trying is number 10 porcelain, the lightest one. So I thought at first when I put this on that it was a little too pale, a little too white, but I now that I've powdered it and everything's in place, I think it might be the right color for me. We'll try this out and I will wear this for the next several hours and then get back to you guys and let you know how long wear it really is. I don't have a lot of luck with long wear foundations. That last Dior one I had, um, after about of six, seven hours, it started to, you know, coagulate in places, get really, really oily, etc. So we're going to see how this one does. It's a nice liquid foundation. Let me show you on the back of my hand. This is a really neutral color. If you take a look at how neutral it is, which that's me. I'm extremely pale and extremely neutral. There it is. So it goes on very slippery -y. It doesn't go on and stick. It's not hard to move around like a lot of long wear foundations, which I am grateful for that. That's what it looks like sheared out. You have plenty of time to move it around and get it in place. It's not a real heavy feel on. You know, it is called the Skin Weightless Foundation. I don't think I called, I don't think I told you guys that yet. The name of it is the Bobbi Brown Skin Weightless long wear foundation. It does not feel, I would say, weightless, but it feels a lot lighter than a lot of the current long wear foundations that I've tried out, and it's not quite so thick and heavy skin, but I think this one's matching pretty well. Once I put a little bit of a powder on that has a little bit of a tint to it, I use my Becca Blurring Powder that has a bit of a peach tint, but I will show you when I show you the application video coming up right now. Okay, I have primed my face. Lately, I've been using this Touche Eclat uh, Blur Primer from YSL. That's the one that has the little gold glitter in it. I love the feel of this. This just feels so smooth and soft. It makes you just feel so soft, but foundation is a nice liquidy foundation. And I'm just gonna pat it around and then blender it in. It's pat that in. It has a, ooh, it's very white. <laughs> oh my, it is white. I'm patting that in. I may have to put a second layer on. It is very light. I usually try to go for stuff that's more named ivory or something like that because a lot of times porcelain means super light and then with some pink undertone. Okay, it's going on very fluidly. I'm definitely going to have to use a, uh, a powder that has some kind of a tint, a little bit of a tint to it to um, counteract how light this is. I'm going to put a little extra here, here, and here because that is where I am quite red. And of course, some more down here on my red spots on my chin. Blending in well with the uh, additional layer here. We are going out tonight for our anniversary. It is 24 years, married, and then we dated for four years before that, so. I am so excited. Becca has some new stuff coming out, and one of the things they have is an under eye setting powder and also an under eye, sort of like a cooling gel, something like that, depuffing cooling gel. I'm really excited about the setting powder for under eyes. It's supposed to be sort of illuminating for under eye, and I definitely need that. I think I'm going to powder with my Becca Blur Powder, which has quite a tint to it. This is my Becca Blurring Powder. It's quite tinted for my skin, so I'm going to try to add a little color on top of this super white foundation here using this wonderful Real Techniques powder brush. Oh, I love this thing. Like that. Huge. I'm just going to lightly dust that around to try to get a little tone. 
Okay, I'm going to get back to you guys in a few hours and let you know how it's held up. But as it's um, drawing on the back of my hand, it does feel quite dewy. And as I was putting it on, as I was doing other stuff, I was feeling my face and it still, it never felt dry or matte. It never felt like it was drying up into a full-on dry down. It felt nice and, um, nice and moist. So I think this might be a good long wear foundation for me. Uh, a lot closer to weightless than most long wear foundations have been for me lately. I, I'm starting to love these Ardell Double Up eyelashes. They're really extreme. I really am starting to love them, but I'm afraid if I go out to dinner and I put my glasses on to read the menu or something, they're going to be banging into my glasses. They're so long and they're so extreme. Oh, if you're interested in what I've got on my eyes today, the let's not forget the gorgeous olive green color that's in the NARS, Narcissist Wanted palette. I had been wanting to play with this olive green that they just kind of threw into this palette, and I did that while I was uh, over the weekend of uh, New Year's Eve. I wore that, and I thought it was so pretty. I would put it on again for you guys. That olive green is just, it's stunning on the eyelid. It's just gorgeous. So don't forget that beautiful olive green in that Wanted palette. It's so pretty. It's not just a warm palette. Okay, we're back. It's been about five or six hours since I put this foundation on it. It is holding up really, really well. Usually by now, it's um, my foundation is just getting really bad. You know, really clumping up, really disappearing in different places, and getting really oily. Now, I did blot um, off with some blotting tissue and then also I powdered. I didn't repowder. I just took the, the uh, what was whatever was on the blush the brush from earlier and just swept it over my face. I think this looks really, really good. This foundation looks really good. But really um, holding up I think better than most foundations, even the long wear ones. I think this foundation is really nice. It doesn't look heavy it doesn't feel heavy, and it doesn't um, look very matte, super matte. So I think this is a pretty good uh, long wear foundation. I think it's just a good foundation in general from Bobbi Brown. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Good night.